Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer product review for Frog and Flute's acrylic dice sets. They sent us six dice sets to take a look, so these were given to us by them uh, to show you and hopefully get you to be interested in some new dice for maybe your D&D campaigns or even substitutions for your current board games. Uh, these six different set sets here have different colors and textures and even little special treasures hidden inside. We have things like Mojito, we have a fighting chance, we have the number Y, and a couple other ones and we're going to be talking about these sets individually and what we like about them, the quality and what we think about when we roll them or whatever <laughs> as far as dice go if it's something that you should pick up. Okay so let's go ahead and start with this one over here and that one is called Blue Carousel, I believe. Blue Carousel. Blue Karaku, as I used to yeah. call them. Uh, these dice here are really beautiful, actually. They have... Um, this one's my favorite, I think. It's got a sparkly, really thin sparkly dust yeah. in it that's uh, iridescent with purple and pink. And then the numbers are teal and engraved. And you can see them too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the most important factors for me personally with dice is that I can see the numbers imprinted on the die when I roll them. Uh, as fancy as some might be, I would at least like to know the number it is I'm rolling. Well, another thing I like about this one is the font for the numbers is unique. It's not your standard uh, regular font, which yeah, is fun. Yeah, it's kind of got like some cuts to it. Yeah, a little fantasy style font there. And all the dice that we roll from all these sets here are, are great. They feel great in your hands. I've used them multiple times. I have them all sorted it out in my Magic the Gathering collection, so that's mainly where I use dice. Yeah. And these are actually my uh, dice of choice, four of these guys here. And I have a couple other sets as well that I use, that I distribute around the tabletop as well. Uh, this is beautiful. It has these little um, glittery sparkles inside of it. I don't see any air bubbles in this set, which is nice. Uh, maybe a, like a one or two in some of the dice. But for the most part, really sturdy, really nice feeling dice. Um, and then this one over here, this one I believe is a fighting chance. And inside these die here, which you probably can't see from this distance, is actually a sword and a shield. I think uh, the six-sided is the easiest to see it. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably. But there is a sword and shield in every single one of these mm -hmm. die. Um, I actually also like, too, the fact that they have a larger four-sided die with these sets here. Uh, some of them have a little bit of a smaller one, and you can get a difference between them. Uh, these ones are a little bit more costly. I believe like an extra $2 for the set, but that's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But they're uh, easier to see. Um, they still are not as clear as these ones over here um, because it's white on clear, but it's still recognizable. When I'm oh, as far as visibility. To yeah, see far the as, number. Which is my, my most yeah. important factor. Like, these are definitely clear. <laughs> yeah, you can see that. You can, yeah, you can, and what you, what the fact that you can also see inside of them. What do you think yeah. about dice with in, things inserted inside them? Uh, I like them. I think that it adds that element to your character and theme, especially playing D&D. Like, if this is like your character is a sword and shield type character. A warrior. Yeah. yeah, like a warrior, a barbarian. This is fun to have. Yep. Um, my friend Ferdinand, he'd made the, made the argument of pot pot potentially um, not being as accurate as, as far accurate as randomness. Because maybe air yeah. bubbles or the weight or whatever. I, I don't know the fact. <laughs> we, we, we did test this method using a bowl and some water and a bunch of drops, but I couldn't see a difference mm -hmm. in them. So. I think it's, it's all about the weight. So as long as the weight of the item is the same as the resin, should be fine. Yeah, it didn't seem to bother me uh, personally. Um, and then we have these guys over here, and these ones are called, let's see, Blue Lagoon. Uh, these are more of your standard kind of uh, flowy looking cloud um, type textures uh, with an easy imprint on them. Uh, typically these are what I like to use for most games because they're very, very easy to see, very recognizable, and they have a beautiful coloring, a beautiful coating as well. Yeah, a little bit of texture, kind of a watery texture to it. Yeah, so I, I do like these guys here. Um, I probably like, probably like these a little better just because they're easier <laughs> to see um, and they still have a beautiful color to them as well. Uh, then we have these ones over here. These are, this is the high seas. I don't remember the name of these guys here. All the dice have their own names, right? And uh, this has little boats in them. Um, once again, probably the easiest one to see is the six-sided die. As well as some really fine glitter, like water oh, kind of yeah. texture Oh, yeah. It, it does have a watery texture, which is really cool, especially when the six-sided die. At the yeah. bottom, you can see the watery texture on it. And it's a little bluer there. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it looks like they're set in the high seas. Uh, these are really, really cool. 
uh, if I wanted to collect some dice, these would be something I would like like to have in my collection to mm -hmm. hold and utilize in very specific situations, mainly yeah. like a pirate pirates games. Yeah. <laughs> and the gold works perfect for pirates too. Yeah, feels good to roll the four sided <laughs> die once again bigger because it has the molds inside of it and um, fairly easy to see, but still brown with brown as far as the inlay and the color of the inside. Not a big fan of that. It's, it's gold. The it, well, is gold. Yeah, yeah, gold. But inside you have this like kind of brownish. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like whitish boat. Mm -hmm. They kind of match up together. I don't uh, know. Okay, not I, enough contrast. For I'm you. picky. Yeah, I'm picky. Yeah. But I, I don't mind them at all. Mm -hmm. And I really do like the inside. I think it's a very, very unique and interesting concept. I've only seen a couple other dice sets do this type of a thing. Yeah. And this one does it really to pull well. Off. Yeah. It does. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would have also liked to have seen all of the uh, boats uh, when the dice get rolled, uh, as long as on a flat surface, that they would be on a flat surface, so it looks like they're sailing. With the four-sided die, this one kind mm -hmm. of sits. Uh, uh, on the, on the, on the, corner. the corner of yeah. a triangle. Uh -huh. And I think they're all just kind of random as far as that goes. Some of them are a little better than others. I, th I think our six sided idea. That may have to do with, yeah, weighting it correctly. I know. <laughs> I know. So you gotta pick your battles, right? Uh, okay. This one here, this is my favorite. This one's called Why, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, these ones not only feel great because they have like a cut on them, like they're kind of like engraved, uh, but as well as the coloration, the style, uh, the font, everything about these die are really great. You can see them. Uh, they're kind of lighter as well, like the inside is a lot lighter, and they feel really good to roll and really good in your hands. So They remind me of kind of a... 1920s deco style or like a Ouija board type. Yeah, deal yeah, it's kind yeah. of like gothic in a way, yeah, which I kind yeah. of enjoy as well. And just feels good in your hands to hold these guys here. Uh, these are once again most of the time when I'm rolling die, I don't really care what I'm rolling. It's a very, very mm -hmm. not, not very often where I do a lot of rolling unless it's like a a Mira Thrash style game. Yeah. Uh, typically, it's just for counters and I like to be able to see the counters and I like to be able to move and hold the dice and it has to feel good when I'm doing so. We always have dice available to use for counters for whatever, any board game, oh, yeah. Magic the Gathering. And I have so, hundreds of that's... different dice, hundreds mm -hmm. and hundreds and hundreds. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in my final <laughs> review here. And then the final one, these guys over here, this is called Mojito. Uh, and this is kind of like the half seas dice in that they have kind of like a cut in between them. Like one part is kind of this um, glittery, a turquoise and turquoise the other kind wave. is kind of this like brownish yeah. or like, like gold goldish uh, iridescent tiny sparkles yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit like kind of like half and half almost but not mm -hmm. not really um but kind of blends a little bit better and uh of course there's that font you like again same kind yes. of cut yeah. font a little bit different something fun <laughs> and these guys are easy to see as well which i really like um and, it, and these also feel pretty yeah. good i think that uh if I were to select between these two, I'd probably like these ones a little bit better, um, just because they have like kind of a, it, it's a little darker on the inside, which has a nice set of contrast, and it's probably a little more, I don't know, masculine that color. That one's probably easier to see, but this one is, I think, just fun for what I would like to play in a, as a like mage or healer type character, I think. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed I went through all the different dice on their website to take a look at them, what types, and they, they gave us a nice array of different styles mm -hmm, of dice so we mm -hmm. can take a look at what they actually can make. And uh, I'm very, very impressed with their selection quality and style. I like the different types of die that they're bringing out, and I like the fact that they're kind of like taking uh, new risks by introducing little little things inside of here. Mm -hmm. Callie's going to have a die for her mermaid game, which is hopefully going to have um, mermaids inside of it. So that was kind of cool when I saw this guy here. Uh, this so thing already kind of go together, actually. Exactly. Yeah, the little boats, and then I'll have the little mermaids, Ships which is really mermaids. great. But yeah, this is overall uh, of all these dice here. This this is probably my favorite. I just like the old gothic style, and I like I how they're all chipped and like cut. What a cool, like with your Ouija board, with your tarot cards, like that kind of feel, especially for Halloween. I don't think you <laughs> roll. Do you roll dice when you play tarot? No, you know, no. But like, I just mean, I'm just like visualizing it, you know, like in a set or something. They also come <laughs> with these nice little uh, frog and flute oh, bags yeah, here. Oh yeah, little bags, the so velvet yep. too, which is nice. Yes. And you put your little little die set in here. Eh, it's I, got I, their logo on there. Yeah. I have all the bags set, situated inside my Magic the Gathering Commander uh, case. So uh, <laughs> maybe all I need to do is kind of mark them as to what types of die they are. Mm -hmm. But yes. So uh, fro frog and flute dice. Uh, what did you think of the set here, personally? Overall, yeah, solid uh, dice. All of them. My yeah, I'd say my two favorite were the. Uh, sorry, what's that one? Blue. I'm, I'm gonna look. It's called Blue Carousel. It's like that, uh, Carousel. that like liquor, yeah, you know, yeah. mixer. Yeah, and the Y set. The, the, oh, you like this one here? Yeah, I yeah. do. I like it a lot. Yeah. Got a lot of character. I think that's what I look for. Is because I want it. 
you're playing D&D &D or something like that, you're the one who has to help create the world, right? And be immersed in it. I think dice are one way to do that, to add your to your character or the atmosphere and environment. Yes, I, I totally agree. And yeah, this would be my favorite, hands down. And then uh, these guys next. I like the little boats. I really specifically like just this one die though, because I just like the- The six-sided die, Because yeah. it has the water you on the bottom, there's the boat. It looks, it, like, it the looks like it's the scene that they're trying to portray. And some of them do it well, some of them don't do it as well. Um, Overall, though, high quality dice, really nice. Uh, they're actually reasonably affordable, too. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of die sets are fairly expensive. I usually talk a lot about have these dies on my channel because those are affordable as well. And these guys here are about like five to seven pounds per set of dice. And then based on where you're located, we'll be shipping. I don't think you're gonna spend more than about 12 to $13 on just one set of die. And of course, if, if you you're get, US, US based. Yeah, 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 if you're in US. Probably <laughs> cheaper if you're in, I think it's the UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can get even cheaper there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a good affordable set of dice. There's different types you can choose from, high quality. And there's a lot more than just what's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. think there's probably like 30 different sets. And if you like one specific type of die, like this one, they have like eight different colors you can choose from. But like I said, there will be a link down below in the description of her frog and flute game. So you can go ahead and take a look at the different types of dice they have. They have metal, they have acrylic, and they've got some other unique accessories as well there. But they just sent me to take a look at this. Um, if any negatives I would have are the little ones I've talked about previously. I don't know how about weighted. I don't know anything about that. You have to probably, you know, I did my tests, but they came up inconclusive because I, I couldn't tell if, you know, Ferdinand probably said they seem to be fine. Probably didn't run enough tests, yeah. There's probably a lot of tests you have to run for this. Tumble them, you know, there's like a tumbler. Um, and then of course the inside little things here are like a double-edged sword. I do like them and sometimes they come out well, sometimes they don't. So and that, that might affect readability if you have yes and the then RPG. readability of course on some of these guys i like much better than others but that's the great thing about selection and choice and what you really want to get is a full set of beautiful dice of your choice this is going to provide that for you at a reasonable cost and it's something i would strongly urge you pick up if you do like dice if you collect dice or if you just need a set of dice for whatever it is maybe your next campaign or a board game you'd like to upgrade because there's definitely some games out there uh that you might want to do so yeah and a lot of uh dnd starters sets like they'll come with die or whatever or in between games that are kind of in between a board game and an art you know and D&D &D RPG use dice as well and like you said you could upgrade them yes. and these come in dice sets of seven so you're gonna get the uh, four oh, sided dice mm -hmm. you're gonna get the six sided dice you're gonna get the eight you're gonna get a two ten sided dice the ones that are in double digits and single digits and then I believe there's a 12 sided die in here and then there's going to be a 20 sided die and so it comes with all your standard D&D &D sets uh, which is nice too I'd like to see more sets include just specifically six sided dice or four sided dice um, I mean 20 they're usually people will sell 20 by themselves yeah, right? yeah. I, I like that idea as well as for selection but I think for this these sets here specifically you can just pick them up in sets of the seven the basic standard Chessex seven but anyway guys that's pretty much all I talked about today I'll have some more reviews out for the next uh, couple days throughout this week looking forward to our Halloween special we're gonna be having uh, this weekend on Sunday yep, Sunday on Halloween Ooh, so it's gonna be <laughs> I'm excited for we're that we're gonna be passing out candy while we're doing the live stream now <laughs> If you're we'll interested in seeing more videos like this one, there's a link down below in the description. Um, you can go ahead and take a look at that and go ahead and support these guys uh, by picking up a set of dice, as well as, of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button as well. And, of course, unfilteredgamer.com. There's tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more there. We can see more reviews, even than the ones that we just do here. Brian has his own reviews out there and some other writers that we've been uh, hiring on to do some work for us. And, of course, you on Discord. Discord. Patreon members, thank you so much. As always, we appreciate it and we look forward to seeing See you, guys you guys next time. time.